Hey guys, welcome to another day by day vlogs video. Today we are bringing you an unhappy, sad video. Today we have to announce the passing of another day by day vlogs amazing pet. I'm here with Sophie, we're the only ones home. Gabby is at a friend's house. It's the middle of the day, it's late in the day. Sam is almost ready to be coming home from work and Sophie and I are just sitting down to make this video now because we cried all morning. My eyes are red, they're aching, my head hurts. We didn't sleep hardly at all, right? Last night we all slept in our own beds and we all just cried, Sam and Sophie and I, not talking, just feeling sadness. Only two things in life are for sure. One, change, things are always gonna change. And two, every life is gonna end. All of them, you, me, every pet that we have, they're all gonna end. And the other thing that's for real is that we don't ever get to choose when they go. We can do our best, we can do whatever we can to keep them safe. We can try and give them the best life that we know how to give. And still, everybody's gonna die. Often I wake up in the morning and I think to myself like how the heck did we get to this place? Chino thinks you guys are a treat. How the heck did we get to this place where we put ourselves out there and we put ourselves online and we share all the mistakes that we make and we share all the good things that happen to us? Usually it is such a blessing to me and I wake up in the morning and I feel so grateful for you guys and for this life that we have sharing it with so many people. And then there are days like today where I wake up and I think how hard it is going to be to share the, the fact that we lost a pet, a beloved pet, with you guys because every time we have to share something that's really hard for us, there are people out there that want to make things up and change around what we say so that it comes out in a negative way. There are people out there that will Ruby. That will blame us, that will decide for themselves things that they have no idea about. And it's hard, it's hard, I'm not gonna lie. Never in my wildest dreams did I ever think that sharing online would be this hard. That it would be, that it would open us up to so much hate. And I always thought that I would be so super prepared for this because I'm a strong woman and I raised strong kids and I knew I could take it, but never ever before. <laughs> Tino's eating all the stuff here, chewing everything, daring me to come after him and get him away from it. Anyway, the point is, is that it's hard to share hard stuff online because of the hate, but I want you guys to know that as hard as it gets, I'm never gonna stop being me. My older son said, don't share it with them. Don't, don't tell them things that they are gonna hate about. But that's not who I am, that's not us. We share so much of our lives with you guys and a lot of you guys love our animals as much as we love our animals and so we wanna share with you guys when one passes away. Sophie and I just wanted to take this day with all of our sadness and process our loss. This morning was really rough for us. Really? Do you guys believe that animals know when you're sad, that they come and they try and make you feel better? I swear, she knows that, that kind of a horse. Anyways, we took today and we spent it together talking and crying and celebrating the life of our pet. So I just wanted to tell you guys that sadly, last night we had to say goodbye to one of our beloved pets. 
Unfortunately, it was one of our little chihuahuas, and it was time for her to say goodbye. We weren't ready. We weren't expecting her to be ready, but it was her time, and only God knows when your time is. I hope you guys will join us in celebrating the life that we lived with our girl. Right? Mm -hmm. We got Cookie when she was, how old was she? We got Cookie when she was a year old, and a lot of you guys don't know this. Some of you guys have seen the video I made about her. But she lived outside year round for her whole first year as a puppy with another dog, another chihuahua in a rabbit hutch, stuffed with straw, subject to the elements, to the cold and the heat and the bugs and, and thunder and lightning. And when we got her, she was a year old and she was terrified. She was terrified of everything. We, she was maybe one of our most damaged rescue dogs that we ever got. And all along, my plan for her was to heal her. All along, my plan for her was to heal her heart and to move her along, find a, an amazing family that would love her. And Sophie was only one and a half at the time, not quite two. And she would, uh, she fell so hard in love with Cookie and she would carry Cookie around and Cookie was five pounds and Sophie was just this little tiny one and a half year old baby and Sophie carried her around like a, a, like a doll and she dressed her and she loved her and she slept with her and I kept saying to her like, Sophie, mama's gonna find her a new home and then I'll buy you a little tiny puppy like Macy so that you can carry her, so you can manage her. And Sophie fought for her. She said to me every single time I said that to her, she said, no, she's my dog and she would never ever let me rehome her. So I never intended for Cookie to be our dog. She made her way into our family and into our hearts and you guys might not know this. We don't show her in every video. We've never, we don't show our nighttime in the vlogs very often. But wherever Cookie, but wherever Sophie was, Cookie was. She slept with Cookie. You guys have seen our "Who Does Our Dog Love Most" videos. Cookie has always loved Sophie. She sleeps with her every night, and last night Sophie did not get to sleep with her. It was the first night in many, many years that Sophie hasn't got to sleep with her. Do you want to say anything about Cookie? I hope we do. We cried already so much, you guys. You are crying. No, I'm not. I feel like Tina's chewing something. Like literally, all morning, all we did was cry. Like my house is still a mess. Like we just got dressed and it's like late in the day. Never ever before have we ever done that. Well, we have done that. Please join us in celebrating Cookie's life. Let's celebrate that she was here and that we loved her and that she was a part of her family. Not be sad that she's not anymore, right? Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please be kind and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. you down and I know that I was not always around I made you feel feel alone you spent most of your nights just sitting on your own I should have done so much more like giving you the things you asked for and I know I was wrong what I try to tell you with my son, tell you with my son. What if I said I'm sorry? What if I'd make a scene? Wouldn't that make you mine again? You're all I'll ever need. Didn't I make you laugh? Didn't I make you smile? Didn't I make you feel like you were happy for a while? I know that I've done so many things that let you down But I hope that you give me one more chance to make you mine
When I close, close my eyes Know that you're the only thing I see And it makes, makes me cry To think that you are no longer with me Didn't I make you feel like you were happy for a while? 